Okay, almost four years ago to the day, I was here in Taco Bell City in almost this exact same spot. Um, you know, Typhoon Yolanda just hit and I was here two weeks after the storm, just trying to help and, and you know, going around the city, it was, uh, it was an unbelievable experience. I could never imagine, or never, never even fathom how, you know, miserable and difficult it was for the people here. Um, you know, the things I witnessed and, and the destruction I saw, I just want to show you a bit of that right now. Uh, as high as that, the water is as high as that, the decorative. So up here. Uh -oh. So the water is up to here. Uh -oh. And the up kids, here. the kids here, uh, were, they put them up in the hole to breathe up yes, here. Yes, in order to breathe. I can't, uh, I can't really describe how I'm feeling right now because it's, uh, it's just unbelievable. It's just unbelievable. You just look around you and you think like, uh, yeah, you don't think, I guess. You just, you just have to help. You have to help. There's... So where I am right now, this is actually the Eva Jocelyn. This is one of the many boats that crashed up you know, against the shores here because of the typhoon's strong winds and the storm surge. Uh, this boat that I'm sitting on right now, it actually, you know, it killed people. This is, uh, this area here, a lot of people lost their lives and a lot of people had their lives destroyed by this typhoon. And this actually, front of the boat, this sits as a monument in remembrance of those who passed away and were affected by this. But, uh, I have to say, sitting here as well, you know, one thing that always comes to mind is the resiliency and the beauty of the people here. And I've just decided that uh, I think it's important I just roam around Takloban, you know, and experience it as a city, as a culture, as people, you know, and just as a beautiful place and not as a place that is affected by Typhoon Yolanda. We should always remember, you know, and respect and, you know, uh, learn from what happened here. But looking forward, I just want to see, you know, what this place is like from a tourism, happy, resilient, beautiful point of view. So let's go explore Taikloban City. Let's feel the water I love. Welcome to the San Juanico Bridge. At 2,200 meters long, this is the longest bridge in the country. Over there, that Samar, this is Lady. It connects it all together, and it is such a beautiful experience driving across this. So one thing you have to do in Taco Van City is you gotta come down here, I think it's on Zamora Street, and you have to eat Benago. It is all over the place and it's freaking delicious. Benago! Benago! I say it wrong. Yeah, oh Benago. I pronounce it wrong. How do you say it? Binago. Okay, they're teaching you how to pronounce it. Binago. Binago? Binago. Binago. Ah, uh, I don't know pronounce it. Thank you, Mom. Binago. Binago. Be not goal. I gotta practice this one of the huh? <laughs> mm. It's actually really good. I really love this merienda. Very local to Leyte. 
We have Benago. Yes. <laughs> Leyte is massive historical significance in the Philippines. This is really the home of where the liberation against the Japanese started. Behind me, that's General Douglas MacArthur, a famous American general who landed here October 20th, 1944 and had a swift drive against the Japanese forces. That is going down. This is Taklovan's Lachon. They have it all along the main road here. Yes. <laughs> you always have to get a free tea lao. Look at the planet. That's my first ever Lachon planet in Taklovan. That is the view from Victor's Peak overlooking Tacloban City and it's so nice to see it blooming again. Uh, yes. Did you know that this is called a taklub? It's basically a crab trap or fish trap that locals used here and it goes like this. And you stick it in to catch. But as you know, this place is called Tacloban. But Tacloban is an Austro-Polynesian word and then the Spanish changed it to Tacloban and they named this, this place after it. So, Tacloban, Tacloban. Uh, yes. Come to Barangay 90 in Tacloban City, find this eatery, and come have a meal. It is a barracuda. That is a barracuda. You can eat that sugba. <laughs> nice one. That is so cool. Now that is literally a local spot, Yolanda's Eatery. They have a pretty amazing story to them and they also serve really, really local fish. You just come here and choose what you want. Mai Mai and... Saksion. Saksion. Nice one, Kuya. Just takes the little hug. Yeah. Let's not mess around. Ooh.
kids are playing on the boat. It's interesting because it's called Ligaya. Even though it's brought a lot of pain and suffering, it's bringing a little bit of happiness to these kids now. So, up here. Up here. Yes. Up here. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Who's here? Show me your lapok. That's a, that's a lapok tattoo. Oh, the dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they got lapok. <laughs> See, tattoo. Oh, you got cool ones.